Dollar all nothing. No, don't say that. People take it seriously. There we go. Hey everybody, this is Nelson Buck and this is the Mardox Daily Live Chat. We do this every day, Monday through Friday, if people actually show up. <laughs> and uh, hello, uh, somebody who changed her name. Yes, I did. Yeah, you changed your name. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so what, uh, do you guys have anything to talk about, Dad? Because uh, Mike, Mike's got a topic, but he's not he's not going to be here right away. So until he gets here, I'll, we'll start his topic when he gets here. Well, I have an interview, so I probably will be gone by the time he gets here then. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, sorry about yesterday. Uh, yesterday we didn't do a show. Nobody showed up. Literally at uh, at uh, five past three, uh, we uh, we shut the room down and uh, and walked and walked out because nobody nobody was here. And then I came later. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's like yeah, we can't sit here uh, talking to ourselves just for the sake of talking to ourselves. Hello, Brianna. Hi. So, uh, Dan, any topics you want to talk about or anything you want to ask? Yeah, I caught some stuff here, but I'm not sure. The, they said they were data mining on Facebook, and it has something to do with uh, disrupting the elections. Uh, yeah, I heard about that, too, but that, that has to do with... Um, um, I'm not sure what that is, because Cam I, Cam I read... Cam it has to do with Cambridge Al Analytica. Uh, it's a company that does data, uh, data processing, data mining. Um, nothing like Bitcoin or something like that. There, but uh, they collect information, like on, on who goes. Like you know, when they say they track your information, that you know, when you go to a restaurant, you buy stuff, and they say these companies track your information, what you buy, and 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 when you buy it, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Like you know, um, Costco's got a Costco card. You, you swipe a card. They know it. They know what we buy and when we buy it. Uh, but these companies process all this data. So apparently these, this company uh, tampered with, potentially tampered with the elections, yeah. Um, not sure yeah, how. That would be using personal information? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, or at least, well, personal information. For, my, for one, th one report I listened to was, uh, it had to do with uh, psycho, psycho evaluations, um, psycho studies uh, on the population, uh, how people feel, for example, in Nevada about Trump, and knowing that uh, they, they, were, uh, they were automatically against Trump, they, uh, it, it allowed Trump to go in and say certain things or know what to say to get people to be on his side. Yeah, you know, or in California and stuff like that, and they did uh, evaluations on the population. You know, like overall, not not individuals, but overall. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty scary that you know these these people are now using computers, and it's not it, it's not fair anymore. Uh, you know, we're we're being told what we want to hear. Uh, yeah, but I wonder what else they can be doing with that information. A lot. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> we're talking. Uh, I'm not on Facebook. I don't know, but. Uh, uh, well, no, but even if you're on Twitter or uh, anywhere. No, I, none of them. Yeah, you're on Google. When you log into Google and look at YouTube, when you look at videos, that they, they know what you looked at. Oh, well, sure, because even my, my phone uh, has updates from Google. Well, no, not the updates. But, but, but when you go on Google and you look at a video uh, on YouTube. Well, they, yeah, yeah they, but they, even uh, my phone. Update Google Photos. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> but, yeah, but, yeah, but that's software and updates. That's That's not what you're doing. But when you go watch yeah. when you go watch a video about Jake Paul, well, it logs that you, they know that you like to look at stuff about Jake Paul. If you go look at stuff about Donald Trump, uh, then they know that you like stuff about Donald Trump. And they know how yeah, long right. they know how long you've been there. If you like the, the the video, how you commented, they that all this well, data is being collated. That's why on YouTube you have videos pop up on the right side of your screen if you're watching the small screen, and underneath recommended for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It all has to do with yeah. your history and, and what you. Uh, uh, when I go into you, when I go into YouTube, um, uh, do do I have my YouTube open? YouTube. Uh, when I go into YouTube, I on the uh, website you go to home. Yeah, and it's uh, all the recommended videos, and right there I got a bunch of gaming videos. Uh, right below there's. Um, uh, reveals uh, rivals of uh, Tesla rivals. I looked at stuff about Tesla. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't have much recommended. I ha it brings up the the people that I am following. For recommended, yeah. I got four, uh, no. Here's uh, show more. Um, I like looking. At, I like watching videos about abandoned uh, abandoned places. 
that uh, you know uh, urban explorers go through. There's videos on that. Uh, here's one on uh, border security. Uh, you know, so it, it gives you. They they do track what you look at and say here's what you might be interested in watching some more of. You know, so if YouTube's doing that yeah. uh, on that that small level, imagine what um, Cambridge uh, Analytica is doing. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that came up in the, the text there. But now, the, but, it, now, but now the problem the problem with Cambridge Analytica and Facebook is that Facebook didn't give the information to Cambridge, and this is it, it comes into the topic of what Mike wants to, to talk about. If Michael ever gets on the show here, we're waiting for him. Well, you know, I see uh, Mike is there. He put in his uh, and he said, "Damn internet, where's the Zoom?" No, oh, he should be able to get in. That, that's in the Mardoc chat. Yeah, I see. Uh, same, same link as usual, uh, my, uh, Mike. Uh, zoomed up. I can't say it on here. Uh, everybody will show up. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't say the, the, the link. Um, but same, same link as usual, uh, Mike. Uh, if you want to go, if and, you, it's uh, hold on. Uh, if you want to go, I can put it in. I can put it in Skype. There you go, Mike. If you want it there. Uh, but uh, yeah. So what happens is um, Mike wants to talk about uh, software that goes out and harvests uh, data. And, and collates it. He's, uh, and a lot of this uh, stuff is called um, uh, using bots or uh, there's scrapers. And uh, we had one user in the past that kept talking about scraping information off of these websites. And uh, you know, we were always saying how it, you're not allowed to do that. Not not the way she was doing it. But um, okay. but uh, my, my company harvests website information. When somebody puts a website address into uh, um, submitpub.com, we harvest the content of the site to index the site, and then we look at other URLs, and then we follow those URLs and index those pages. It's called website indexing or spidering. Um, but um, Cambridge Analytica uh, has gone out and harvested essentially all of Facebook and collected all this data on, on the Facebook pages and has collated it into these massive databases and is using that information to give it to Trump and these other people saying, here you go. Uh, here's, here's what we know about all these people and all these, uh, these regions. Uh, make your decisions based on this information. And now we got Josh breathing heavy because he wants to try to say something. Hmm? Huh? No. Hi, huh? Josh. <laughs> no, no, we're good. I was just uh, wondering, you know, when we were here yesterday and no one else was here, you know. <laughs> Well, we were here, Nelson and I, but nobody like else. Seven, there was like five of us. They weren't trying to come in, and Nelson's like, "Not here, man." No, we left. We left because by three o'clock, there's no, literally nobody here. It's like, forget <laughs> it. Yeah. And like I said in the chat, we opened the room at two thirty, and like, literally nobody showed up at ten past three. And it's so like, Josh has got a coalition. Let's go in at three ten, guys. Yeah, three. Uh, three uh, wait, wait, wait till the room shut down. Wait till the room shut down, then we'll uh, we'll all go in, and then we'll bitch at Nelson saying, you know, rah, 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 rah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to take no, my no, dog. Uh, I had just... to take my dogs out yesterday. Yeah, That's we're right. just teasing uh, Brianna. Hello, Michael. Finally. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. Finally. Damn, damn internet. Damn internet. <laughs> Mike, see, he was one of the people that was trying to get in yesterday, and no one was here. Yeah. Tell him, Josh, tell him he can't drive in with his car. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, there you go. Where is he? I can't see him. He's down below. There he is. He's... Oh, there's that toupee. Okay. Yeah, he even had his mouth above it, man. That's right. And of course, Danny's decided to uh, go completely off camera, like me, I guess. Did I? <laughs> Yes, man. I gotta go look at myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. For some reason, you keep you keep, pointing, you keep pointing it up at the ceiling. There we go. There you go. Now we can see all the all the stuff. Mike, you want to talk about bots and scraper programs and all that? I've got to go do a quick little something over here, and I'll be right back. Somebody, somebody just came home. Well, you, you know what it's about. But I'll, I'll be right back. Go ahead. Yeah, Mike. What are you doing? he's about to do some scraping, but it's going to be scraping for crap. And and no, 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 no,
Yeah, but even people, I, I find even people probably just, you know, given just plain information, because no matter which way we do it now, uh, I mean, everybody wants information about you. You try to limit it, you can't get on their site. You try to give it a little bit, you know, try to omit some of it, they, they don't let you on the site. Yeah, a little red asterisk, must fill in this blank. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't have a choice. But uh, you know what I do with those sites? I... You know, you should give information on your site, and then we can either log in or, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, if you don't have a choice, well, I'll go somewhere where they don't require all those little red uh, asterisks. Or where did you hit that, Mike? Well, no, because of that, uh, you know, that Cambridge uh, with Facebook and all that. Listen, when you when you hear that 50 million people without their, you know, without their consent, we're actually taking information from them. There is a serious problem. Well, yeah. And it's personal information, too. Because, I mean, even autoresponder says, uh, you must have their consent, otherwise, you know, you, uh, yeah. you, you know, go you to a phone. Up. When you signed up for Facebook, you gave them consent. It's in their terms well, of you Well, you know, you know that uh, now, now we're having the Canadian government look, to, look into this stuff and all that, because here in Canada, you must have our consent before even, you know, before even going to it. In other words, uh, if Facebook knowingly or unwillingly gave my information to, you know, to Cambridge, uh, then uh, they've got a serious problem. Uh -huh. Because his, because... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They, yeah, uh, yes, they have a serious problem, but it's not, it's not the websites like Facebook and all that that are uh, the one with the problem. It's the companies like um, Cambridge uh, Analytica that are doing something that is potentially illegal. Yeah, but Delson, at the same time, mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm, if I'm an advertiser and I go to Facebook and I say, okay, I'd like to spend $30 million on this, and basically my, I'm doing research. Mm -hmm. But you got to remember, uh, Facebook does not allow you to scrape their site. That's right. That's you, right. What you do is considered a term a violation of their, their terms and service. That's right. They actually hate automation software. They will. They have sued people in the past for it. it, it it's a problem, and I'll, I'll, give, I'll give you guys an example here. Um, uh, let's go into Google here and let's look up uh, robots.txt. When I scrape a um, a uh, a website. Well, oh, I, I don't want to say scrape, but when I when I um, scan go, scan or <laughs> yeah or go get a uh, go get a website, there is a file called a robots.txt file, and in that file, it tells us. Um, here you go. It, it's on. It's on. It's on the screen. It cannot be indexed. Yeah, that's right. It tells it tells you what can and cannot be indexed. It tells us the eight the user agent whether it were allowed or disallowed. Uh, what content is allowed or not allowed to be added? Uh, in what order? Um, there might be spe if they know who we are, they might say that submit uh, submit pub is allowed only these pages, whereas in Google might be only those pages, but we cannot overlap. We respect those. But if you go to Facebook's um, robot.txt, uh, you need to be on the list of accepted agents in order to harvest their information, and it has nothing to do with the logged in side of things. So uh, respecting those rules, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the clear. But these companies are literally, literally logging in and harvesting all the content. But now Facebook has a problem. Advertisers are not. We have they have to be able to display information to the users, and yet there's, there's people that are that are grabbing all this information to harvest it. But they can't not show it. You see, if, you, if you're going if you're going to use Facebook, you got to be able to see the data that's there, right, as a user. Yeah, you have to. Same with Mardox. You know, if somebody comes into Mardox and starts harvesting all the data at Mardox, um, I have to be able to show the information to the users, but if I get one user that comes in and says, hey, I know how to circumvent the system, and I'm going to harvest everything and use it for my own website, uh, I can't stop them. I can find out about it and block his IP address, but then all he has to do is change his IP address and keep doing it. You know, so it's a cat and mouse game. You know. But uh, to protect yourself against it, um, I would say put as little information as possible, personal information as possible into your Facebook and Twitter uh, as possible. Like I don't put my birth date in, in there. I don't put my, my location. Um, 
I, I, I'm on Twitter right now here on the screen, and I, I know there's users that have, you know, they're right down to the street address of the, where they live. It's like, why are you putting your home street address, your door number into Twitter, you know, as a part of the profile? Yeah, but on your screen, Nelson, you have uh, the Google bot and the Bing bot. Uh, no, I don't use, I don't, I don't. Uh, no, no, but they're for blocking uh, specific folders, right? Uh, oh, and a, a specific web page. Oh my, every web page one at a time? I, wow. I, don't, I don't know what you're looking at. What you have on your screen? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. This is, um, we were talking about uh, the, the spidering software for uh, for blocking, allowing spiders from harvesting websites. So my spider, my program was called a spider, goes to Facebook. I have to read this file called robots.txt first to know what I'm allowed or not allowed to access using my software. And uh, again, I mean, if I go to Facebook, I'm just curious now, if I go, to, can I bring up Facebook? Dot com slash. I'm just curious if it comes up. Uh, not found. Did I do it wrong? Robots.txt. Yeah, no, I, I did it right, did I? No, I didn't. R-O-B dot T-X-T. There, uh, what's on the screen right now shows uh, what is allowed and not, and, and not allowed. So in this case here, uh, the user agent called Applebot is not allowed to access anything facebook.com slash Ajax or album.php uh, or Checkpoint. They're not allowed to access any of that content, but anything else that doesn't have any of these folders starting, the, the website starting with these uh, folder names, everything else okay. they can harvest, but they cannot harvest this stuff. You see, uh, it's pretty much the same thing all the way through. I think when you go all the way down to the bottom, here you go. Here's some allows. Um, here's one here. Uh, Agent MSN bot is allowed to access Ajax slash PageLet slash blah 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 blah. The whole thing here. You see? Even the safety checks. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? But but that's only MSN bot that's allowed to check uh, going there. Th then you have. Ne neighbor bot which is another uh, another bot he's allowed to also access that so you have to respect this file extremely carefully if you, if you violate those terms then Facebook can go against you and block you you see uh, do they have do they have uh, the for every no they don't have a I just want to see if they have. Okay, here you go. If I go to Facebook with my bot, if unless some, unless the submitpub.com bot is listed in here, all other agents that are not listed, you see, like here you got Yeti, Yandex, uh, Twitter bot. Those are the agents. So for every other, all other agents, everything is disallowed. So we're not allowed unless you're on this list. You're not allowed to touch Facebook.com. You see. So if I do it and Facebook finds out that submitpub is harvesting. I'm doing it against their permission. I, they can then block my, my servers and say, no, you can't do this anymore. Well, Cambridge uh, Analytica is not on there. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why they're illegal. They're not on there. And they're, they got a bot that logs in as a user and runs through everything as if it's a user. So he's using somebody else's user. No, no, no. They got their own user. The bot has its own user ID. But then the, the, the bot then goes to Danny Buck and says, okay, who's Danny Buck? Gets his information. Who's friends with Danny Buck? Vina Dazan. Goes to that don't, profile. and don't have any. <laughs> no, no, but, but you know what I mean. Hits Nelson Buck. Who's friends with Nelson Buck? And on and on and on and on and on and on. It's called, it's called, it, it's called web scraping. Yeah. Yeah. They do it on LinkedIn. The person that we were talking about earlier, she would run scripts to harvest information off LinkedIn. And we kept telling her, you're not allowed to do that. Even though she would often say, well, I never got caught. And the person who made the software never got caught. Nobody's ever been charged or, or, or banned. Most lead programs are scraper programs. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to go there, though. No, I, yeah, I know. But I mean, it I just remember just, my, just, I just because the software exists doesn't mean you have the right to use it, you know? You know, it doesn't mean that you're allowed to start the software up and then go scrape everyone's name and addresses and phone numbers, exactly. you know, just because somebody made yeah. it, you know, it's like, hey, yeah, but uh, Josh mentioned you as a lead program. Well, what does he mean by a lead program? They, a bot? Or? Oh, there's a former member that uh, used to use <laughs> which 
primarily use scraping programs. <laughs> well, say. What they do is they'll go onto Google, say classifieds, or uh, what's the other, what's the other classified uh, Craigslist, and they'll get the person's name, their email address, their phone number, and they'll harvest that information, put it on a list, and then you can contact those people. But you're not allowed to do that. That's called scraping. Okay. That's it. Uh, well, she she would do two things. One, she would violate terms by scraping, and then she would violate terms by contacting these people by email or by phone. Either way, that's spamming. There, there, there's there's no if ands or buts about it. The person never asked to have you contact them for your product or service, regardless of the way you look at it. It is spamming. That's all there is to it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, I know I hate it when I get a phone call. Hey, uh, I saw you had an ad in Craigslist. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Didn't you make your money spamming originally? What? Didn't you make your money spamming originally? No, I, no, no, no. Everybody that's on my list was on my list because I, they, I they, you said when you first started, you were using the spamming programs. No, I wasn't. No, 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 Josh, hold on. No, no, Josh, it's really serious now. I never spammed. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I, people would give me their website and information, and I, I maintain a database. I got to a point where I sent yeah. out 100,000 emails a day, but I was not spamming. Those people were on my list, and I had the double opt-in from those people to do that. But what happened was I got out of that business because Canada said if there's one single complaint, it's $25,000 com uh, fine. I couldn't afford to risk having a single complaint. Not one single complaint. It would have bankrupted me. Totally. But I never spammed. I'm not, I've never gotten a list or bought a list from somebody and just mailed out to them and said, here we go. We're going we're gonna to mail out to you and say, come get our service. That's spamming. But the list I did offer, we did offer was that you signed up to our search engine. We harvested your website and then we indexed you. And in return, then we, we emailed them and said, by the way, would you be interested in banner advertising? Would you be interested in this or in that? But you did at one point say, yes, I want to be on your list. There was, there was a double up in there. But uh, is it, uh, Nelson, is it better single or uh, double? Because a lot of people say it really doesn't matter. It does. It does. Uh, single opt in. Uh, okay. Um, the 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 term single opt in. Let's say you go to uh, to a website and they say put your name and email address in. Um, mm -hmm. That's your single opt in. They don't send you an email or nothing to say please confirm your email address. The double opt-in is when you get the email with the, with the confirm link and you got to click the link to confirm that you want to receive email from them. That's your double oh, okay. opt-in. The single okay. opt-in, I mean, uh, I, I might as well go, if that's the case, I might, I'll go get a list tonight and mail to it and all I'll say is, oh, it's all single opt-in. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, no, that, that, I would, I always push double opt-in, if not more, you know. Uh, with Mardox, it's actually triple opt-in, if you look at it, because you got name and email address. Uh, you get the confirmation email, then you come back and you got to type in your, 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 the rest of your information to update your profile. Uh, and then you get to log in. And once you log in, there's a whole bunch of other steps that we go through, but you're getting emails that you got to click on so that we know that, you know, you're actually serious about what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. That's it. But uh, no, double opt-in, definitely. Don't. Uh, anybody who does anything single opt-in, I would stay away from that. Because I've noticed a lot of people... Uh... Recently, a lot of marketers are using who, only single. Who, who told you that single opt-in is fine? I, I went through a I went through a whole thing with it because they even said it was an um, autoresponder. I said that's surprising because most most people they go in for doubles and all that. Yeah, and it, it was part it was part of their. I saw the guy's training video and he says single opt-in. I said mm, there's a question there because my my th ethics in the business is that if you sign up to Mardox or any of my stuff and you didn't click that link on the email, I don't mail you anymore after that. You get one email. If you didn't get it, you can re-request it. But if you, mm -hmm. if, you, um, if you didn't click that link to confirm your email address, I don't mail anything else to you. You're an unconfirmed lead. You're an unconfirmed uh, uh, yeah, yeah. contact. Um, and and I, uh, no, because I received email from people saying, you know, hey, thanks for joining. I never joined your site. You no, know? exactly. I get a lot of that crap. Yeah, you do. And it's like, yeah, how, how is it? I signed up to 500 things in a day? Like, exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's not happening. That's it. You know, and people have seen my email address on uh, on file. Um, what gets me is John Brewer sent me over to a, a website the other day, and um, I found it funny that their emails right away went to my spam folder. And on Google's uh, Gmail, they, they got the, the, the scoring of the spam rank, and it had a very high spam rank. 
so I don't I don't know if they're uh, forcing uh, the emails to go through. You know what I mean? A single opt in, or what mm. they're doing. But uh, yeah, if you're listed in this in the junk folder and you're listed at number five as spam rank, that, that's you're the worst of the worst. No, you know? Exactly. I had to I had to hunt this down, and uh, there was one stage further up. And that the email doesn't even show up in the spam box. It's at the level where Google's routers say, we don't even want your mail anymore. That's how bad this is. You know, so it, it, I guess it's it goes to that bad. Whereas myself, uh, we've got a rate of 0.001% complaint on our, our profile. And we're sending out uh, right now up to 50,000 emails a month right now. And it's 0.00, two zeros and a one. So uh, tens, hundreds, thousands. So I got one thousandth of a percent <laughs> for uh, for a complaint, and that's usually like Joe Smith will use someone else's email address, you know, as a joke, and that person will get the thank you for uh, for signing up to Mardox. Please confirm your email. They'll get that email and then say it's spam because obviously he didn't sign up to it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and then I get a spam complaint. Yeah, mm. you know. Uh, yeah, Brianna, you want to say something? Brianna? I have no idea what to say. No, I thought we thought you had you were trying to say something. No. Okay. There we go. I I'm playing around with Twitter as we're doing this. <laughs> to spam or not to spam? That is the question. <laughs> Let's see how many people uh, get out my case about that. Spammer! That's right. Uh, but there are bots. Uh, like I said, you've got to be careful because there are bots and there are um, uh, scraping softwares out there that are legit. Like, uh, and we talked about in the past where uh, uh, we have uh, companies that will say they'll, they'll add you uh, to the search engines and overnight you'll have 500 hits to your site. You remember that, uh, Mike? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, it still goes on to this day. But the 500 hits to your site are from 500 search engine spiders that are going out and grabbing your websites. Uh, so for every website you index, that that's, it could be up to between 200 and 500 hits overnight. So by the next morning, you're like, oh, yay, all, all this traffic, you know, you're all happy about it and you wake up and, you know, everyone's good, right? Um, but they're all programs that are made to go to your website to make sure to how to index it. Like ours at SubmitPub. Yeah, you got to type in your title description and all that, but we actually do go get the website and get the actual title and description if you can. The data that you're putting in on the website, on the form that's on the, on the stream right now, mm -hmm. uh, the title and description that are there are only if we can't get it from your site for whatever reason, then we'll use that one, you see? Um, but usually we, we default to what's actually on the site. And then we do a, a further check if the words that you put in your title and description don't match up anything at all to what's on, actually on the site, uh, then it's, uh, you know, your site's considered, you know, a low rank, you know, it's, it's garbage. Um, but then you got the websites that are all image, all graphics or video, no, hardly any text. So that's where we'll default to this is where the, where the person puts in their, their, their title and description here, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it's kind of like, a, eh, you know, but our program still has to go out to your website, one, to make sure that it, it's valid, that URL is accessible, the domain name exists. Uh, the page exists, and then you'll get your title and meta tags and all that stuff. You know, so those are good programs. Yeah, yeah. You know. <coughs> but uh, what is it you had that happened to you that uh, got you wondering about scrapers and stuff? Is it because of uh, what we heard about with, with uh, Trump in the news? And uh... well, not not only that, because I've noticed that uh, even even my email was, you know, and I've got a couple of emails, and all of a sudden I get all this crap and all that. I said, what the hell, you know? Well, what, what? You, you, thank you for uh, please confirm confirm yeah, please, what yeah please confirm I've been seeing a lot more <laughs> yeah. of those please confirm your email address and I've been noticing yeah. that they've been, they've been going to the spam box real fast they, that's right so but it might so in, 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 yeah maybe that's what we, I should do is just put the rules that you know Oh no no! But I mean, Google's on is on the ball with it. After about a day or mm. so, I noticed they're automatically just going straight to spam. You know, and because uh, they're able to see a case coming from these IP addresses, and it's like, okay, it's all spam. Because, because uh, you know, Nelson, with this uh, Cambridge Analytica, uh, we're de we're dealing with a different animal here because these guys are using an algorithm that's basically, you know, psychological. Well, they, they'll build they'll build a psychological uh, profile on it on a, a, a not a person but a um, a community. That's right. It's like, like they could look at they yeah. could look at Surrey, BC. They could put everything the the psychological 
analysis of Surrey, B.C. and say, okay, who likes Trump in Surrey, B.C.? Or who likes right. Trudeau? Um, and, then, right. and then uh, they can do a study based on who's accessed what. Um, they have, have 60% of the people in Surrey looked up videos that are against uh, Trudeau or for mm -hmm. Trudeau. Uh, are, are you guys more beer drinkers versus wine drinkers? Uh, you know, the, the, the more population go to Costco versus Walmart. All this information mm -hmm. can be collated. It, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. And we're not talking about a, uh, a hard drive, you know, a couple gigs. Or we're talking petabytes. No, exactly. You know, millions of gigs, billions of gigabytes. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, a terabyte is a thousand gigs. A petabyte is a million. Yeah, it's a million gigabytes. So imagine a hard drive where you got a million gigs, one petabyte. You know, and these servers have thousands of petabytes. You know, so it's uh, they 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 can they can house a lot of information. You know, and I was talking like I said at the beginning of the show before you got on. I was talking about uh, YouTube, how they uh, know what to recommend to you next. You know, and uh, they they actually do pay attention. They track that you watched a a, a video about Logan Paul or you watched a video about. Um, uh, Trump or whatever, you know, and then there's the next, and they recommend it, it's the next videos coming up. Well, they actually do analyze what you watch and then recommend the next videos coming forward. Is Analytica doing the same thing? Are they harvesting information off YouTube in reference to us? Again, yeah, exactly. again they're not in uh, they're not uh, shaking hands with these companies. They're going in as a user and getting the information, uh, you know, the hard way. You're harvesting all this information. Whereas, let's say YouTube and Facebook could just say, here's our database for half a million dollars. You know, mm -hmm. but you know, these Facebook and YouTube, they're saying, no, we're, we don't want you doing that. You know, so instead they go in with a bot and they harvest. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that that's, I mean, even Mardox, even we track what you do. Every time you log in, I know where people go I, I and I can build a map as to who logs in where the most? Do you just log in and log out, or do you log in, go to your wallet first, or do you go to your stats first? Uh, not just per user, but I, I can take a whole group of people. And uh, from there, I can say, okay, if John Brewer's people, uh, are they legitimate people versus Mike's, where Mike's come in and they leave right away? And no, no exactly. that, that, will tell, that tells me that Michael's people below him only want the 10 cents a day. They mm -hmm. come in, they're gone. They're, they, they, they log out. Whereas John's might go in, look at videos, look at a post, write something. All that information is tracked, and then we we can scale. You know which user has the best team, mm -hmm. and and it's not it's not for us to sell to the people, but it's for us to know who do we want to focus on more as opposed to another. If you got a, if you got a, a, in, in our case five thousand members, and you got to focus on everybody, or do you want to focus on the one hundred of that are really serious? You see. No, exactly. Yeah, the upper echelon, right? Because because uh, since last since yesterday, I think uh, Facebook lost. I think it was around seventy billion dollars. I think it was. Oh yeah, yeah, they lost a lot of money. Well, their value dropped. Yeah, their value. Yeah. And Zuckerberg, uh, he he lost around nine million, nine billion, I should say. Yeah. But and, and the thing is that because people think that Facebook is giving their information away. And it's not true. It's not that they're giving it away. The information is available to anybody. Um, I had a video up uh, re uh, recently that a person uh, claimed that I owed him $2,500 and made a big hoopla in the comments. Then the guy went and mm -hmm. deleted it, but I still had the comments. I made the video. But I showed the guy's website uh, at YouTube. And he came back and said, my daughter's personal information, you have to take it down. That's private information. You're not allowed to put that on your video. I rolled back and said, dude, that's public information. Your YouTube front page is public to everybody in the world. The fact that a thumbnail of his kid is on there is public. And I told him, if you don't want your kid to be seen on YouTube, take the video down or go change the thumbnail, right? And, yeah, exactly. Uh, and then he went and fought with Google, uh, with YouTube, saying, I want him to take his video down. And, well, the only reason why I left my videos up is because he raised a hoopla. It almost had my, my uh, he, he caused my account to have a strike. It's been reversed since, but that information is public. Whatever you put up public, it's public. It's the reason why it says public, you know? That's right, yeah. You know, so, but the thing is, these bots and these programs behind the scenes are going in and getting all that information too. But, but, it, but, it, but if that's the case, uh, Nelson, with regards to Facebook, 
uh, don't you think that with all the technology they have with regards to, uh, you know, to, uh, to security, uh, I mean, if someone is scraping their information, do you think a flag would go up? Uh, I mean, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of information scraped. Yeah, yeah, but now it's going to depend on how many users they have, they have active at once. We're talking about one bot, but it could be one bot mm -hmm. multiplied across 10,000 user IDs. And if the bot uh, surfs a page uh, at a regular human interval and not always, you know, let's say, let's say the, 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 the acceptable interval, let's say, is 12 seconds. Um, if, they're, if they're going to a new page every 12 seconds, they can see it's a bot, but then the bot might have, for example, he'll hit a page and within three seconds he'll switch and then it'll take 30 seconds on the next one, 12 on the next, 14 on the next, five on the next, you see what I mean? Now it looks like a human being that's, just, that's, that's flipping through. But now they're, they're not only going to the page, they're actually opening the, uh, the images to actually look at an image. That's right. You see? So it makes it look like a human being. That, I mean, these guys are sneaky. And it's not just those two guys that you guys saw on uh, on TV um, about with the, all the hoopla. They've got they got a team of programmers behind the scenes doing all this programming. It's not those two doing the programming. You know. Oh no, that's for sure. That's for sure. That's it. You know, <laughs> I, I, a lot of companies track a lot of the information that uh, that we have. Costco came into f under fire because we used to have the uh, the Costco card, something like this. And you'd have to swipe it as a uh, as a member, and then then everything gets scanned in. What do you think is happening when that when 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 they do that, Mike? Well, is, they, that's right. Well, they know exactly what you've bought three yeah. years uh, up to a year, or even oh, probably no, right, even right up to, to the, two. Yeah, right to the beginning. Or wait to the beginning. Yeah, that's right. Right to the beginning. Now, the idea behind that was is they were supposed to have a system in place that says, by the way, you might be getting low on ketchup, and we have a special on ketchup. And a lot well, of people, and a lot of people said, no, 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 I don't want that. And they, they got into a, uh, uh, there was a big hoopla a few, uh, quite a few years back where people said, well, I don't want my stuff tracked. And uh, the cards remained, they still track your information, but it was at a time it was too early to do that. Uh, Amway, uh, well, their quick start is doing that, where they track, Amway's always tracked everything you bought. And they would say, uh, okay, your ketchup is getting low, would you like us to add it to your next grocery list? You know, so it arrives in the next package. Uh, it's a good idea, but Amway started that way and everybody who joined in understood how the program worked. Mm -hmm. But Amway harvests all that information, everything you eat, how fast you go through it, how many how many people in your family, you know, when, when you buy a- Well, that's how, that, don't forget Amway did their own products also. I mean, they would give them uh, for their their marketing and for their, for their uh, you know, from the raw material to the finished product. Yeah. That, that would be statistics required. You know. Yeah, there's that too. That's right. That's right. There's a, there's a lot of reason why they have to harvest information for the good, but there's a lot of stuff that's being done bad behind the scenes, and and it's a sale of this information. I think there should be if there's anything that's being put forth is legislation against one company selling data to another company. That should that I think should go through law and say there's a law against that. There's nothing like that in place right now. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing against Facebook selling their data to uh, to YouTube or to Twitter or uh, another company. It's just in this case they haven't done that. This is a company that said, "Okay, you don't want to sell it to us. We're going to go harvest it." Just like our other member would go to LinkedIn and harvest all the names and phone numbers, or to Craigslist and har harvest the, the the contact information, uh, because yeah. you know that that person did, would not be able to pay for the entire database. Which I w I would love to get my hands in it in the LinkedIn database, you know. But I mean, uh, that's a lot of data. That's a lot of data. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of advertising uh, Mardox on LinkedIn. To tell you the truth. I've been looking into uh, doing the, the, the starting an advertising. Well, there's a lot of I, I noticed there's a lot of marketers out there on the LinkedIn. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know it might be part of our co-op that we're going to set up with the uh, the other uh, paid members. Mm -hmm. You know, so we'll we'll probably have YouTube and LinkedIn as as two sources to to market on. Uh, but I've been looking into that because uh, yeah, that's a big uh, it's it's a, it's quite a few million people out there right now on LinkedIn. Cricket, cricket. Cricket. Nobody I here. Do a, I do have an account on LinkedIn. You do, yeah. Yeah. I, I think everybody does it. Some. I don't know how I got mine. I. I one day I woke up. Like, I'm on LinkedIn. What? <laughs> what am I? What am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> I, 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 I. I got. I got an account, and I. I. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have. An, I have an account at Reddit. 
I didn't even know I have an account at Reddit. <laughs> I don't even know how to use Reddit, and I have an account no, over exactly. there. <laughs> I, gotta... I, tried to, I tried to use it before, and it is very confusing. It, it is confusing, huh? Yeah. I don't. I don't understand. If somebody, if somebody out there watching this wants to help me, show me how to use Reddit. I, I, I'll be grateful because I have no clue. I, Reddit must be good. I'm seeing a lot of people say you know leave it. You know leave a post in a red or subreddit, um, but I I have no clue how to do that. I, I how to manage that. I mean, a lot of people use Reddit. I, I have no idea what it is. Yeah, I know. Well, it's it's like a forum. I think mm -hmm. I understand. You know, with with threads. I think. But it, it, I'm a programmer, and I'm going, how does this work? When I, when I get a page result, and Reddit comes up, I'm like, why is, am I looking at a Reddit page? <laughs> no, exactly. You know? I, and uh, there is a tool in Google where when you do a search, you can say block these domains. I had to go in and block Reddit. I don't want Reddit page. I don't want about.com. I don't want those two. Um, uh, Wikipedia is another one that I just might block soon. I'm getting sick of their inaccurate information. <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, this... did, did you look at the uh, text, Nelson? No, uh, what text? Right beside in the Zoom. In the Zoom, yeah. In Zoom. From uh, zoom, 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 zoom. from for me, I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's uh, that's Brianna. Oh, for me is Brianna. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's how to use Zoom or? Bri Brianna, what is it you posted in the chat? Oh, oh, that's about my interview. They're actually going to inter have um, via Zoom, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot of companies are using Zoom for the interviews. Oh, okay. Okay, yep. now I understand. Yeah, yeah. There's a... Uh... Go ahead. And what's weird is the... Um... Girl, okay. That even this it's not what they said when they talked to him live. But the email says you have to join by internet phone and a webcam. And I'm like, is that even possible? Uh be careful with that. The phone number that you dial, make sure it's a toll free number if it's a long distance number, they're gonna sit there like that on the phone. They're they're using the audio through the phone. We could do the same thing. Um, I, I have it set up so we use the microphone off the person's mic, uh, camera. Um, but if they're dialing a, check your area code, because if it's long distance relative to you, you might wind up paying long distance fees. Be careful about that. Um, what program is this that you're, you're uh, getting interviewed by, an actual job, or is this, is this another program on the internet? Uh, t -tech. Um. Oh. In fact, I gotta get going with something. Find okay. see if I haven't yet. <coughs> okay. It's um, it's um, an interview with Teletech. It said. Okay. Good luck. Good luck with that. Go go check it out and see. Uh, just uh, be careful. All right. Thank you. No problem. We'll talk to you later on. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Another uh, another issue with uh, uh, using the uh, the phone function uh, through Zoom. I'm not sure if it works that way or not, but some of these uh, teleconferencing programs actually log your phone number when you call in. Uh, so that's that's another thing too. I might, might want uh, to keep an eye open for that. If they tell you to call in by phone, well, you're you're recording your phone number with their database. You know, so uh, I I use uh, the company called Twilio, and everybody who calls my phone number, everything's logged. Uh, even the conversation is recorded. Um, so there's a there's a lot of logging information. That's actually a good point right there too, Mike. Um, we had we had a big hoopla back in the day when I set up the uh, the Mardox live tech support uh, where you can call in to click the call, and um, a, a bunch of our members got upset when they found out we're recording the call. And I told them, well, it's for it's for you guys and us to know what was exactly said on the call, right? Because you get a That's copy right. of, you get a copy of it too, right? And uh, a lot of people didn't like that. Yeah, were he told before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, it, it's okay. on the screen. Oh, here. Uh, let me let me uh, bring it up here. Uh, no, no. But as long as they're told ahead of time, uh, it's okay. Yeah, well, it's, I, because I, they can refuse it. Well, no. If they refuse it, all, all they have to do is hang up. No, no. no uh, we get calls that say, and uh, I don't know, you phone the city, and they they tell you, and when the agent comes on, you can ask not to be recorded. See here, look on the stream, and you'll see the dates. 
uh, when the calls were, how long the calls were, and then I've got the, the option of playing the uh, the recording back if I want to listen to that uh, that recording, um, and and that's as a user, uh, you know. So like Mike would have his own recorded in there, um, and when you do go to click to call for a paid user, um, dum 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 start the session button. Uh, warning: the call will be recorded automatically. Uh, we record all calls for quality control and for training purposes. You will have full access to the copy of the call for your personal use. So it is written there uh, nice and clear. Uh, unless, of course, you don't read the text, you know. But, uh, you know, we, we do say that, you know, hey, uh, <laughs> uh, it is recorded. Well, most companies, that's what they say most of the time, you know. Yeah. Well, what they say it could be recorded doesn't mean they do. Us, we absolutely do. When you call that number, oh, no, 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 they, they, they say it's, it could be used for uh, training purposes. Shaw's that way. Yeah, Bell's but that no, but way. They, they may or may not record it. It's, it's not. Well, that's just it. Yeah, yeah. I know our, what you mean. our system we record everything, and mine's set up that if I have, let's say we get to a point where there's ten people live right now talking, there's ten uh, agents, myself and nine others. And there's, no, that makes 10 people talking at the same time. All the recordings are recorded. They're all downloaded and provided to our members. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, well, to that member, not not all members. And the reason for that is we had, we had people that would, would talk with us and then open a support ticket and say, hey, I talked to William, and William said that I would get this and this and this and this and this and this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, really? Oh, then oh really and, William, and, and William had a memory lapse. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. No, 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 no. The other way around. The other, okay. The other way around. They were they were saying that this. They were saying that William promised all this stuff when William uh -huh. never promised it because yeah. I was William. <laughs> you know? So that so that's why we uh, we went towards the uh, the recorded uh, messages. That way, hey, if you if what I said is in the recording, you see. No, exactly. What, sure. what is that, that that sound? That was Venus phone. Oh my God! It sounds so nineties. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the phone makes that sound now my dad's got to go over tap her on the shoulder so she takes her headphones off she takes the phone and uh, old people <laughs> see now oh that now he's got to take her the phone here you go yeah that's right <laughs> oh. is that how it works at your place Mike yeah that's exactly how it works yeah phone goes off or, or half the wife. time half the time I don't hear the ringing <laughs> <laughs> or, or the guy from Canada. You know what happened yesterday is I called you the first time and rang one time, and I was like, it was like a long, 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 long delay. I'm like, hello, hello, and I was like, it says it's 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 uh, uh, He's dialing, dialing, yeah. but there's no yeah. sound. And then I I called again. I thought, okay, there must have been a misconnection because it rang once and then died. Oh well, went to your, uh, your voicemail. <laughs> yeah. So I did it a second time, and the mic answers, hello. I'm in bed. Goddamn internet. Goddamn internet. <laughs> but uh, it's good to, to record it, especially in Siri, for voice recognition when Darn by shooting sir. <laughs> drive by drive by hacking. <laughs> drive by hacking, yeah. That's right. Oh jeez. Oh man. <laughs> drive by hacking. Oh. Oh. There, um, there, there used to be an activity that uh, we would go around and uh, look for wireless networks. And if you found an open wireless network, you take some chalk and you draw a chalk symbol, and then you you, you register the symbol on a website and where the location is. And it told other people if they wanted wireless access, they go to that location, GPS coordinates or a street coordinate, find okay, that yeah. symbol. If you're at that symbol on on the sidewalk, uh, which is drawn in chalk, you know, at, at, you know, three foot by three foot, um, that gives you wireless access to this, 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 this place. And um, uh, it, it was neat. Now it's like everybody, everybody's routers are all locked now. I, I don't know anybody that has a unlocked router anymore. But uh, it, I, it, it was uh, it was a neat thing to to play around with. No, that's true. I mean, uh, now now everybody's locked. I mean, except here in uh, apparently Vancouver, they're opening up. Uh, you know, because here, I mean, it's considered a utility. Yeah. You know, so. It's important to have, uh, and, and most people today don't even have uh, landlines. The majority of people, they are, they're all wireless. Uh, oh yeah, phones, yeah. In, yeah. In, the, in the UK, anybody has a landline yeah. is because you're filthy rich and stupid. <laughs> you know, because everybody has cell phones. You know, yeah. you don't make a noise, or dead. 
Hey. You gotta mute yourself before you do all that. You make a hell of a lot of noise in the background. I didn't hear nothing. Yeah, that's right. That, that was it. That was it. He was he was lighting his match. That would make the noise. Yeah, that's Could right. have been Mike's bottle rolling on the floor there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, they're uh, they're going to be providing internet across the board free of charge or? Yeah, free of charge. Yeah. Uh, wireless, like in the city, not for your home. No, no, in, in the in the city. Yeah, because Sherbrooke. If has you're it. going anyway. Yeah, yeah. Sherbrooke has it. Uh, yeah. There's Z uh, Zap, which is a network, but I find it so god awful slow, it's ridiculous. You know, uh, and then like a place like McDonald's have just said, okay, get rid of Zap. We're just gonna pay internet as a fee and let people use it. People come in and get a coffee, and you know, you sit down, and use the internet. It, it's wide open. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, they, they sell a lot of coffee that way too. Oh yeah, that's right. You know? And a lot of students go there. That's it. You know, that's it. Uh, and I, we're know, gonna... I know that here. I, I know that here. Uh coffee shops for instance uh on weekends they don't allow you to bring in your laptops and all that why not because too many people are sitting down for too long drinking on a small black coffee that they paid for like four hours ago oh, okay you know yeah and, th and that's a problem that's yeah. a problem for the business yeah it is it is you know well what they did in restaurants here for a while if you sat down had a coffee and you extended too long uh, they would charge your fee for sitting at a table. Yep. And, so, and some places still do it. I don't know. I haven't gone to a restaurant in a gazillion years. Uh, something like No Man's Inn does it. If you sit at the table too long, they charge you a fee for sitting there. Yep. No Man's Inn? Yep. Yep. And uh, I don't blame them because you are using up the resource. You're using that, that table space and, you know, you're sitting there going, you know, chatting on Facebook or whatever. Yeah, but if they would take a small table, some use a booth. That's four people that could sit there. Yeah, and it's one person with one laptop. Yeah. yeah that's it, you know. That's or they it. read through the paper. <laughs> and they ask for a glass of water. Gee, that sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like my dad when I was a kid go through the paper. Hey, dad, and, what do yeah, you think? Hey, Danny, don't you, don't you like that feel of paper? I mean, that old-fashioned... <laughs> well, only if it's money that I can put in my wallet. No. <laughs> well, I, I, I know there's old paper in these bins behind me, these, these, these um, um, uh, trunks behind me, there's really old paper in there. If you want to feel that, it's old. <laughs> <laughs> Probably falling apart now. <laughs> no, 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 it's still intact. It's still intact. Okay. It's, it's old. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you say 1912? Yeah, around that, yep. <laughs> 1912, yeah. Yep. It's funny, you know, before, before uh, we came on, I was looking at a, uh, a site documentary and uh, what would happen to the world if all humans disappeared all of a sudden? Like, uh, you know, the, 10 years, 20 years, they go up to 500 years. The world would be just fine without us. No, no, but all that information we have will be no good anymore. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And, no, uh, uh, anything, on yeah. The, anything on the internet is going to be gone within a week. No, there wouldn't be any because there would be no power. Exactly. <laughs> within, within, a, within a week, there would be no more internet. There would be no more digital data. The only one that they, uh, they say uh, will stand up for at least 500 years is the Hoover Dam. Maybe. <laughs> no, apparently. Oh, yeah. Because so, <laughs> they're, they're working on that every all the time. They're always up, uh, maintaining that. It's... Uh, I'm not no, sure. That's a super duper thick dam. I know, but still, the, wa the water gets in a crack there and it, it eats it away. Yeah, but it, it would take at least 500 years for it to show cracks. and. Oh, no, no, it's showing cracks now. They're no, no, those are the workers that draw those. Yeah, they, they draw them on a little felt market. No, no, Hoover Dam has been worked on a regular basis right now. Yeah, what yeah. was that guy's name? Mike Khrushchev? Yeah, that's Khrushchev. it. Yeah, yeah. Khrushchev or something like he that. Puts, he puts <laughs> MK beside it. <laughs> <laughs> It's the guys that go over the over the Hoover Dam and they use highlight uh, uh, eyeliner, you know, to draw the lines. Those I'm not sure about. Those ones. <laughs> good old felt marker or a paintbrush, you know. Use a good old paint, oil based paint with lead. <laughs> use the good stuff. You talk about paint. The San Francisco Bridge, they paint it regularly. Yeah. So apparently, when they start at one end, when they get at the other end, they start over again. Yeah. But uh, they were showing the guys that paint. They just walk up and down those things there with a little leash uh, tied to their belts on one of the cables, and they go up and down painting. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Gee, Chris, I wouldn't rely on that little leash there or well, strap. No, but, no, but it, it's, it's, it's meant to hold you. It's, it's meant to hold your weight and then so. Yeah, but if something happens, you're dangling in midair, and they have a, a ring on the cable itself. 
Well, what's going to happen when there's vertical cable? They're going to slide all the way down. No, 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 no. It's tied on the horizontal one. There's there's two horizontal ones at, at hand height. They, no, they, no, no, no. The like... guy goes up the the uh, forty five degree angle up those rails there, metal rails, yeah. to go paint away on top. Yeah, of it. you can he's, see it. He's got hand ones, and he's lit no, no, no. He's tied through his belt, and it hangs on that cable that follows the rail. That thing's at forty five hundred degree angle. Yeah, yeah, so but it, yeah, follows, yeah, but it stops like it's, zoom. Yeah, but it, 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 it stops like every twelve feet or something. There's there's a gap that it, it, it holds on. Otherwise, it would just. Uh, be I don't know. You go down pretty goddamn fast. Well, yeah, no, I, it, yeah, but it's it's not pleasant, but it's uh, it would you don't you don't go that far. I mean, but well, uh, what's going to stop him? The cable's got no stop signs on it. <laughs> no stop signs. No, no, there's no stop. The cable goes all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, it's anchored at every twelve or sixteen feet or whatever. It's, it has to be anchored somehow. No, no, no. You're you're not listening. It goes up zzz, all the way up. There's nothing here anchoring it. There's yeah. the their vertical suspend, not vertical, but uh, oblique uh, suspension cables. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Not the ones straight up and down. Right. And, and, they're, and they're, wa they're walking on the big one, right? What you don't see is there's two little ones on a V where your hands go to walk up there. You, they, they, no, no, no. His hands are beside him. He's not hanging well, yeah, up. No, no, no. But he's not hanging up. But they are there. But they're only they're only like a quarter of an inch thick. From a uh, distance, you don't, you don't see uh, that. He was kind of close on a the camera there. No, no, to show no. no, no. There, there, there's, hand, there's hand lines there. And, because I was thinking if a gust of wind came up, yeah. uh, we lose more mics this way. But he, he clamps on, he clamps on, if you, and if it's properly done, he's got two of them. He clamps on one side, when it gets to the end, there's a stopper because, you know, it, it joins up. Then he's got to clamp on the other side and release the one, and it goes up, click, 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 click. That was always attached. At all, at all uh, un, yeah. Unless Trump sold him the harness. Uh -oh. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's another yeah. problem, yeah. No, but I, I've seen these suspension bridges. Yeah, the cable is only about like a quarter of an inch thick. It's it's not that thick, and from a distance you won't see it at all. It's because so he goes up that forty-five degree angle, yeah. and when he gets to the actual support beams, he goes straight up there. Really? Holy shit! Yeah, and, nuts. And, and it, it's, nuts. Well, I, I'm not afraid of heights. I can go up onto a building and look down, and so it doesn't bother me once. What? Not one bit. And oh, no, uh, up there, there's wind up there. Yeah. It, I it, forgot to. Well, remember when I did my roof? I'm not afraid of it. Remember when I did my no, roof? I, I, I had no, no, but I had my my heels right on the edge of the roof. And yeah, uh, but that roof at ten feet from the ground. Well, yeah, yeah, but still, I mean, uh, this is what some three hundred feet or it, whatever yeah. those things are. But for me, it wouldn't make any difference. If I'm going to fall, <laughs> I'm going to fall. My the idea is I don't fall. <laughs> no, know? but at that height, you got time to think of it all. God damn it! Oh man, I should I, <laughs> I should I should have attached that cable. Did I leave the iron on this morning? Uh, <laughs> I wonder what Tina's going to say. Splat! <laughs> She's going to say splat? Uh, yeah, no, no. But I, was, I, mean, I wonder what Tina's going to say. And then splat! Uh, because at that height, forget it. <laughs> hey, the top of the, the, the one of the piers on the Golden Gate Bridge, forget it. You're, 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 a watermelon will come out better looking. Well, yeah, he'll fall in the water, I hope. Well, no, but there's, a, there's, a, there's a, the, the, the landing. Depends on where you fall. You're not, you're not gonna fall and drift off. Well, if he's got a brain, he's gonna fall towards the water. Well, if, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, there's, there's one problem with that theory when you fall into the water. When you hit the bottom, unless you fall right, which I've never seen any human do, no, from the, uh, from you'll splatter. You'll splat like uh, you were yeah, hitting yeah, cement. No, no, either way, either way, even if yeah. you yeah. even if you dive well, in, you'd crack your skull open. Of course, like yeah. they say, it's not the fall that hurt you; it's a sudden stop yeah. down below. Uh, my oh, son, I would rather land on a hard surface and be dang sure that it's done versus water where I might be paralyzed. <laughs> Live with the yeah. memory of that. Just get it over and done with. <laughs> Where's the well, asphalt? The kid fell off the third-story uh, balcony onto the lawn, and he stood back up. Mommy, ow! He had a scratch on his knee, for Christ's sake. Three stories up. You're kidding. Jesus. A uh, kid two years old. Yep. He fell on the lawn. These uh, these urban explorers, the, the ones that, you know, uh, they do, um, uh, you know, they, they jump and do uh, flips and all that in urban settings, you know, with... Yeah. Uh, you watch them jump from one building to another, and there's a... There's, you know, like a, a two-story drop or one-and-a-half-story difference between their buildings. They run, they'll flip, and then land on the next building, keep rolling, and keep running. How do you do that? Yeah, it, but it, Nelson, you're looking, you're looking at uh, what the Legionnaires build up, and it's uh, called Taku. No way, that's what I'm Taku. saying. Yeah. But, yeah. but still, when you when you land on a surface a, a, a story-and-a-half down, let's say 16 feet down, 
that's still 16 feet even if you are traveling in that direction but it's still 16 feet it's still a hell of a <clears throat> you know yeah I mean, you, snowboarders do it no, skiers do it no but I mean but when you get to the other end on, on asphalt you better roll properly and, and keep going because ouch you got to convert that energy or your body's going to take it all you better do that in England all the buildings are attached <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, uh, there, there's one that I watch. It's called Ali Law on YouTube, and uh, yeah, no, right between two buildings, it, it's it, they hop from one to the other. And if you look down, it's six stories down, and they just jump over. Took, took, no problem. It's like good. Because you know, if they miss, uh, oh yeah, you can only miss it once. Yeah, six uh, six <laughs> stories. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna be in a lot of pain. <laughs> You know. Or you happen to miss and you go right through a window. Oh my yeah. god, that's it. You know. Oh, oh man. No, I mean, I, I'll go up big buildings. I go up on, on tall places, roofs, and so I does, nothing, none of that bothers me. I've been up on, on things 10, 20 stories up. Uh, it doesn't bother me. Uh, but I'm not stupid to say, I'm going to jump from here to there to see if I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's disallowed in Surrey, eh? The yeah. guys do that, and they go down along the wall, and they do drive-by shooting as they go down. Drive-by shooting. <laughs> <laughs> we call those drive-by hackings now. <laughs> and what they, what, they, what they shoot at you in Surrey is donut holes. From Tim Hortons. Oh, well, maybe that's your problem there, Mike. They might have shot up your internet. Yeah. That's very possible. You might, your internet, your series of twos might be plugged up with donut holes. <laughs> There's lead in my internet. There's lead uh, in my internet. Nelson, they're called Tim Bits. Tim Bits. Tim, yeah, but I don't want to use a copyright name. <laughs> Tim, Tim Bits. Donut holes, yeah, yeah. Oh, Tim Hortons came back with the act. Okay. Um, there used to be peanut butter cookies. And they got rid of those. They went to a chocolate cookie that had an injected amount of peanut butter in the center. That I found gross. You go chew in and you get like this wad of peanut butter. Like, in like, yuck. Like, yeah, it was yuck. Then Tina had another another type where it was peanut butter like throughout the cookie kind of thing. And it really, it was, it's not really a peanut butter cookie. Now they came back with the actual peanut butter cookies. I went to the pet store yesterday. And um, I did my, my, my nice guy. Uh, when somebody asks me if I have money for a coffee or something, I won't give the person money, but I'll go get the coffee and, hey, I'll sit down and talk with them, you know? So the person said, come up to me, because you got a couple dollars, so I'm going to get a coffee, and, or, or you know, he hasn't had anything to eat. And so I said, I don't have any cash on me, so I got in the truck, I went over to Tim Hortons, and I, I got cookies and two coffees. I came back, and I sat down with the guy, and I talked with him. And uh, But that's how I noticed they came back with the original peanut butter, peanut, with well, the peanuts in the cookie. Like, yes, I like those cookies. Really? Yeah. Peanut butter cookies? That's no. it. Yeah, no, I love it. I love peanut butter cookies. Uh, but the real, the real stuff, not, not the stuff that they're coming out with, with a peanut butter, like, gooey in the... It, that, it, oh, it's yeah. a cookie with peanut butter. That's not a peanut butter cookie, you know? Your, your mom made peanut butter cookies. What are you talking about? Yeah, you ate them. Yeah, all the time. I love them. Yeah, not me. Oh, you, you, why did she make them? How did she know I liked them? We didn't make them. We bought them. <laughs> oh, okay. Because uh, oh no, baby, you made some as well. This is the same. This is the same woman. One time, I was sitting at the table. She was behind me, and I said, uh, "Grandma, I don't like your food. I love it." But my dad was the one facing her and thinking, "Oh God, I just lost a son." <laughs> yeah, we're going to her funeral <laughs> because uh, I don't know if you know, Mike, but when my mom would put her hands up and her hips. Oh, oh. You were dead. <laughs> World War three or four or five, whatever. I was... he, he paused just long enough, and you should see my mother's face. <laughs> <laughs> but when he said, I love your cooking, and she answered, well, finish your food. Because, uh, oh, boy. <laughs> I love the stews that she'd make. When she made stew, that was real stew. Yeah, mom would make sure, yes. Yeah. Well, the only way to get vegetables into me, you know, carrots and cabbage and uh, all the rest of the stuff, it was the only way to get uh, the vegetables. My dad would bring me over there. She'd have stew up. It's like, I'm bringing Nelson over. See, so actually eats vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. No, I, once in the morning, I felt sideways that day. I told mom, I don't want the oatmeal. She said, fine. She took it away. <laughs> okay, and off to, off to school we go. Uh, okay, lunchtime, uh, I had a sandwich. And, uh, okay, so come home, supper after chores and all that. Oh, boy. She's sitting down, like Nelson says, she'll put the stew or whatever for the others, and I got the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I did want oatmeal again. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh man, my my mother in law had the biggest problem on, on Saturdays and Sundays. And uh, me, if I'm gonna have pancakes, I have to want pancakes. I, I don't. I like your pancakes, but I, if you make them just for the sake of making them, and I wake up and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like any. I don't necessarily eat first thing in the morning, but um, and she would make pancakes, and she would make a few pancakes. She'd make a stack of pancakes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just keep cooking. It's like, okay, I, I don't know how much I made. I'll, I'll just keep making pancakes until they're all gone. So, yeah, but with Emma, you wouldn't say no. She'd go, no, 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 it's good, it's good, it's, it's good. good. It's good, it's good, you eat. You eat, you eat long time, yeah. And, yeah you uh, eat or I'll grab your behind. That's right, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mother-in-law and I had a thing going on there. <laughs> uh, we don't need to hear that, anyway. No, no, no. No, 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 we don't need to hear that at all. <laughs> that, that's scraping. I, 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 <laughs> I, I bent over one time I bent over one time to tie my shoes, and I suddenly I feel this, this hand grab my ass and squeeze. And I went, whoa, hey. And it's like, and I said, Tina, your mom just grabbed my ass. And my Tina goes, well, that means she approves of it. <laughs> <laughs> I had nowhere to go to file a complaint. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's it. That's it. I'm stuck. <laughs> House full of women. Oh, geez. But uh, yeah, so John, Mike, did that answer your questions about uh, harvesting data and all that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Wait, we should have we had John on here today. Yeah, so you, uh, you know how to make it now, John. I might. That's right. You know how to harvest it now. We had, pe right. we had, and, we had yeah. people. We had people talking with us today, and I missed it. I think people start using uh, something, and even if the uh, better mousetrap comes out, they stay with that. They are familiar with, oftentimes uh, hesitant to go through with it. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, better mousetrap. How many mouse traps do we have to invent just for the sake of inventing mouse traps? Hey, Fab. I think it's Fabiana. I think. Uh, yeah. If you here's the thing. Um, where we had the shop and we had all the uh, the trucks and everything stored uh, parked, uh, we wanted to put a fence up around, but with a big bulldozer chain. And I told them, I said, "You guys want to spend all this money on bulldozer chain, you know, to lock up the uh, the, the entrances? If a person wants to come in, a citylene torch will go through those chains in a matter of ten seconds." You know, um, and it's not anything you need power. You know, you, you use a sparker, adjust your, your your temperatures, and boom, you cut the metal. Um, a grinder needs electricity, and stupid enough, there's outlets outside. You know, um, if somebody wants to break in and get something, they will find a way to break in. If you find a way to to, to stop the person from doing it, they're going to find another way. And if when it comes to the digital, stop a person or stop a group of people from doing something, they're going to do it if they want to get it. Yeah, I just look at uh, automatic kills here at uh, the banks. Guys, yeah. they go in here with backhoes now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, they're idiots because the money's stored under the floor. I don't know. The money is in the machine. Uh, not Bank of Montreal anymore. It's under the floor now. You steal the machine. Well, the, the guichets? Yeah. The money no, because the... uh, Stepan repairs those and they fill up the, the machines. They still fill the machines? I was told by, yeah. uh, by Bank of Montreal but that the, it's under the floor. There is... Uh, uh, and I think it's a maximum of like, yeah. five five thousand or something in a machine. Yeah. Because prior to that, you had up to thirty thousand dollars in each machine. Yeah, yeah. No. But it, when they start using backhoes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's unreal. Well, well the, yeah. The, well, the machines that are in the depot, uh, the the corner stores, the ones that you know, the standalones, they're just bolted to the ground. You put a backhoe on that, it's it's coming with you. Oh, they'll they'll bring a bulldozer and go get it. That's right. But thing is, you got to take off with it. That's in plain view. I mean, oh. yeah, well, that's it. Well, one, I can see driving the backhoe down the street with a tail behind you. One person pulled up with a van and it had the it had the, the logo of what was on the side of the of the uh, the machine. He had the logo on the van. Walked in with a dolly, him and his partner, and they took the time to unbolt it. Broad daylight, store wide open. They unbolted the machine. They loaded the machine up on a dolly. Into the van and drove off. It wasn't. Yeah, but the manager should have said, "Well, nobody called me or anything like that." It has nothing to do with the manager. It had the company came and got their machine. It had their logo on the van and everything. They had uniforms yeah, with the logo. The guy is uh, operating the store. There's something wrong here. You don't just take my machine away. <laughs> well, well, no, no, but he doesn't get anything out of it. It's the company that owns the machine that that they deal with it. Yeah. Oh, but they have to pay. They have to pay a certain usage on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, a lot of, you know. Yeah, but still, you you got two guys that walk in with uniforms. They got a van that's labeled the same logo was on the machine. They walk yeah, in. Don't you they, think? Don't you think, as an owner of a business, I mean, 
they first call the owner and say, hey, listen, we're coming to pick up the machine? Yeah, I would think. You know, yeah, I would think so. I would think know? they would, yeah. Normally, that would, that would make sense. I mean, if I left a server at someone's place and someone showed up to get the server, it would at least be a call ahead of time saying, oh, we're sending someone to get a server. Um, That's right. You know, um, but uh, now these guys just unbolted the machine just with, like, like as if they were supposed to be there. The best way to steal something is act as if you're supposed to be there. Literally. Well, hey, you, you, you know, you're, you're right about one thing. There was about a, it was a seventy or $80,000 machine. It was it's one of these machines that actually crushed cardboard. Okay. And would you believe the security guard actually helped the guy yep. put the stuff on the on the, <laughs> on the truck? Yep. Yep. <laughs> if you show up that you're supposed to be there and this is your job doing this, and you pull it off, you can steal anything you want. Um, the the, Ur the urban explorers they've got uh, colored vests like like uh, something like this. And mm -hmm. they say you want to get into a building after hours because th these are the mm -hmm. ones that would they'll, they'll, they, they're not allowed to break in, but they got to be able to get in without breaking in. So they'll put this on and say, "Hey, yeah, I'm here to do uh, work tonight. Uh, uh, James, uh, whatever's uh, told us to be here. They open the door. Okay, go on in." That's yeah. stupid. No, because they look like they belong there. Who's going to question? No, them? no, no. But somebody would have arranged that ahead of time, and your employees right. are warned. Uh, well, no, Tina. Tina does the uh, the counts for E one uh, in the stores, and she's literally she literally walks in, starts dealing with the with the shelving in the unit, and does what she has to do. Sometimes just taking it all apart and leaving with it. And there's nobody that was called in advance to say we're going to come in and do this. But because she's got the she got the uniform on and the whole thing and the equipment and nobody nobody questions it. It's like okay, you're supposed to be doing that, you know. The best shoplifters are the ones that walk in and look like they're supposed to be doing that job. And that, that okay, now I'm not talking shoplifting, like going in and, oh, I'm gonna look at the, the shirts. The ones that are going through the storage area in the back. <laughs> they're supposed to pick up a box, they're supposed to do this, they're supposed to do that, you know? That, well, I'll tell you, when I did the computer repairs, regardless how far from home I was, I went in, I introduced myself. Yeah. And then if the secretary or whoever that was there didn't know, well, I said, take time to find out. I think your manager, Mr. whatever his name is, I had information, yeah. but she didn't know me from a hole in the ground. That's so right. I had to. That's right. That's right. And most of the time, that and was in DC, by the way. I, I, had, I had my office space before I met Tina. I had my <laughs> office space, and we hired a new person as a uh, receptionist. And um, this girl never, ever met me, ever. And uh, it was I was office, I was in Bridgewater, New Jersey, while the time she was hired. I came back. Uh, Paul Gifford had told her anybody walks in the door, you ask them, you know, who they're supposed to be seeing, talking to, the whole thing. If they don't have an appointment, they're to leave. I walked in, looked at her, looked around. I knew who she was. I turned the corner, walked, went like I acted stupid, walked around, do 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 do. Sat down at a computer, started doing stuff. She never once asked me, "Are you supposed to be here?" Oh wow! Not once. Ooh. Not but, good. Um, but Lost. I'll tell you one thing. Most people who work in offices are dumber and as dull as the knife that yep. hasn't been sharper in a yep. long time. That's it. She was there. She, wow. she was there for the eight hours to get paid, and that was it. I remember one time it was the uh, very important uh, accounting company, and they claimed that one of their computers were, was missing a laptop. Yeah. And then when I went over the tape and all that, it was the president of the company that gave it to a guy from one of his uh, American subsidiary. And uh, he he's the one that put in the complaint that the computer was stolen. Oh, <laughs> I mean, how dumb is that? You yep. know, and that's when you yeah. go see the guy and say, what kind of a dummy are you? You're running this multi-million company and you're dumber than a sack well, of shit, the, the, basically. The bigger the company, the more facets you can play around with to get to circumvent the security. Think about it. Because it's, you know, because... Uh, now, why do you have man. security if you can't use it? <laughs> well, no, but that's the thing, you know. Yeah, but at the same time, you have to understand that most uh, security guards are, are not the sharpest knives in the kitchen. That's it. That's it. You you're know? you're a mean, security guard, right, Mike? Yeah, I'm not the sharpest <laughs> knife in the kitchen. There's a reason why banks want to keep the, the number of people working in, in, a, in any one facility less than 20 people. And, uh, and that's so that everybody knows everybody who's supposed to be there. Because anybody can yeah. walk in with a nice suit and act like the manager and walk into the vault. 
There's nothing stopping them. And also, them. They, uh, they don't keep them at the bank always. They transfer them from one branch to the other. Yeah, but everybody still knows everybody in that branch. Yeah, yeah. but they don't get too, too familiar with the place. Yeah, there's that too, yeah. Yeah. yeah there, there is that too, yeah. Like Blondie there, uh, like one child, she's in Rock Forest right now. Oh, she's still working? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, she, she gets shift all she's, over the place. She's, she's blonde. She's the one that looks like that that blonde on Coronation Street there. The same hair. Coronation. Yeah, the, the same same her, same hairdo, the same uh, same everything. It's like, oh my god, oh just French instead of English. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought Coronation played in uh, Surrey, but not here. No, not no, no, not here. I don't, I, we're we're up to date. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't watch CBC or Bad internet. I don't watch CBC anymore. <laughs> Uh, CBC uh, television would rot my brain, and I, I was kind of against that. Oh, it's boring. Yeah. God. Hey. The only hey. thing I go to CBC for is a national with Peter Mansbridge here. It's still on. Uh, at ten o'clock. <laughs> you know, if I go on the net, I gotta wait till ten or eleven. Yeah, but Peter Mansbridge but, is still on. Yeah. Holy Toledo. He's gotta be what now? Seventies. Well, I don't know. But that's the only reason I go there for programming, <laughs> and the same thing with CTV or uh, uh, TV or oh, stuff like boring stuff. And now the Canadian government apparently in the last budget they're going to increase Canadian uh, content. Uh, how are you going to do that? Uh, more, more leave, it to, more leave it to Beaver. But yeah, their shows are all the same. First of all, uh, uh, they'll, they'll change it from Leave It to Beaver to Leave It to Beaver. Listen, if they call, if they call whatever the hell it's called, living in your neighborhood, living in your house with the people and driving yourself nuts, a Canadian content, I've got a problem with that. Really? Well, there really is no the, content. It's boring. You know. It's soap opera. That's all they are. As, it's oh, yeah. worse than soap opera. That's true. Well, I don't know, because I, I watched a couple, and you, you start on Monday, and by Friday, you learn a little bit. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, well, yeah well, that, 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 that's the whole thing. It's more of a pastime. There's a lot of people love that stuff. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, we had a couple. They had six VCRs on extended recording, six hour per tape, and every day they'd watch those five uh, tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they would set up a. They, oh. they, they had their own version of a PBR, but back in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but they would record and they'd watch it. The one VCR broke down. They showed up at the shop. I need it for four o'clock this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So do all the <laughs> sixty other people. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh. oh. Hey, uh, a quick uh, note here, Nelson uh, and Mike and Josh. I think so with us. No, Josh is here. No. No, Josh quit. Oh, I got Tina up here now. Yep. Uh. Uh. Netcoin and MobiLink coin. Yeah. I saw the MobiLink is something to do with your phone yeah. and the SIM cards. And according to them, you can have as many SIM cards as you want and not pay for data. Uh, that, that's what uh, I saw quickly there. It's MobiLink, M O B I L I N. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, but uh, hold on now. Um, I think that's the one that uses your cell phone to process the math calculations. So, you get to use as much. No, uh, the same as mass. You can use it all you yeah, want. Yeah, you never yeah. get to pick the data again. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's like Bitcoin, but instead of using computers, you're using your cell phone when you're not using it. Like it's in your pocket, and it's doing click 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 and sends off the results. No, 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 no. He's got these. Uh, you got a card. Yes. <laughs> and you can get as many yes. SIM cards as you wish. Yes, they're free. For what reason? What what's what? What are they getting back in return? I don't know. That's why I was asking. They're getting, that. They're getting bit, uh, yeah, kind of a coin. Yeah, Bitcoin. they're using the data processing capacity <coughs> of your phone. Okay, look, and yeah. what is what's net coin? Well, I don't know. There, there, there's a, there's a thousand of those right now running around right now. Because they pop up on my screen. What the hell is oh, yeah, this on? It just so happens that we were talking about Bitcoin. Yeah, well, there's Bitcoin, and then there's literally I think there's a thousand out there right now. All these different bit what we call what they call cryptocurrencies. Yeah. Yeah, crypto. Yeah, it's another one. No, 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 no. That is what it's called. They're all. Yeah, but they're all, that was there as well. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> that, that. They're all cryptocurrency. That's what the yes, category is. It showed up in big yellow letters, and then you're going to look. So. No, 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 no. no not not Netcoin, but Netcoin is cryptocurrency. So is Bitcoin is yeah. cryptocurrency. No, no, but the cryptocurrency that showed up in big yellow letters, 
and no, no, then no, you no, get no. the no, no, the classification of this technology is called cryptocurrency. Yes. It's not a currency itself. It is all the cryptocurrencies oh. are cryptocurrencies. It popped up that way. Well, whatever. It's some idiot. And then from there, it rolls up. And, oh, okay. Now we got net coin. We got. Um, oh, yeah, but like, but like I said, like, uh, there's, there's a, over a thousand of them right now. Yeah. Yeah. So they're all the same, basically. Well, no, 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 no. They're not all the same. They're, they're, they've got each their own thing. And which one is better than the other? Who knows right now? It's too early to tell which one's better. Bitcoin is just the most popular right now. That's the only thing. Yeah. Uh, but every every system has their own thing. Like like if tomorrow, if we release the Mardox uh, MIGC project, and we said, here guys, go do math calculations for us, and we'll give you Mardox credit, in-house credit, we could call that M coin, if we wanted to. Wow. You see? They can, they can wait just a little bit there. The government's talking about removing the $5 paper bill now. Oh, uh, Jesus. To, to a coin. Oh, Another coin. Well, oh, what are they, weren't they talking about doing that like years ago? No, just recently, uh, say up to six months ago, roughly. Well, it's not done yet, but uh, yeah. they want to remove the five. God. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of weight. What? Yeah, because the, the coins last longer, that's why. Yeah, but when you go to the doctor, that can't be your pocket, so they can weigh you properly. I mean, it's bad enough to get the toonie. I mean, they were talking about uh, bringing out a $3 coin. Yeah, but I don't think we need a three. Yeah, I don't, I, I, how is that going to save anybody any any, any uh, problems? I, don't, I, don't, I think that's just going to add more. Well, instead of having a toonie and a loonie, you're gonna have a, a treenie. <laughs> Poor kid at the till. Three, six, uh, uh, sorry, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15. Don't have to count in base three. <laughs> you, you're gonna need a bucket to your, uh, tie to your belt to carry your coins around. Or just, just a pickup truck and put all the money in the back of the pickup truck. <laughs> Nobody's gonna want it, it's gonna weigh too damn much. You can't steal the drug. How about, how, about, how, about, how about you, Mike? Isn't your car already driving like this? <laughs> what, 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 I think that's uh, an MP there from BC that brought that uh, up. Because Mike, Mike is, is big on Dogecoin, right? <laughs> They're going to have to make the bottle openings bigger so we can put those coins in there. <laughs> No, what was it the other day? I told a person on a live stream, I said, uh, I, every time I swear, I'm going to put one Dogecoin in my jar. And um, uh, then one other person says, well, how much Dogecoin do you want, uh, are you going to put in? I said, well, I'm going to put in as much Dogecoin as I want. And this person really believed that there was such a thing called Dogecoin. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, but he heard coin. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He didn't hear Dogecoin. You know, no, there's no such yeah. thing as Dogecoin. Hey, guys, uh, we're already past an hour, and, I, and I'm getting sick and tired of seeing Mike's face forehead <laughs> and I need coffee because my mug is empty and uh, I guess I gotta wrap up the show because Mike doesn't know how to do it Mike Mike doesn't know anything Mike doesn't know how to wrap up the show right that's right and John, no, he's, just a, he's a security guard and, and, yeah but I, I was hoping John would come in so John could wrap up the show but no John can't show up <laughs> we'll have uh, Josh do it yeah. no he's gone and he's gone yeah there you go Anyways, uh, we do this show Monday through Friday, uh, every day. Uh, well, whenever we feel like it, like yesterday, there was nobody there. Uh, Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. or noon Pacific time, uh, 8 or 9 or something in, in, in Germany. Um, to, uh, let us know what you think by leaving the comments below the video on YouTube. Like, subscribe, like, and comment. Tell us what you think. Um, at the bottom of this video, to all the links to all the different social media that we use. Uh, I've been using Twitter a lot lately, so if you guys want to tweet us or send us a message on Twitter, uh, that's wide open, so that's, uh, that's a big plus. Uh, on, um, on Twitch, make sure to follow us. That's really important to do. Uh, tell everybody you know that if they follow us on Twitch and they're a Mardox member, they get $20 credit, in-house credit, if they come in and follow us on, on, Twi uh, on Twitch. And uh, no one's done that yet this week, so might have to extend it till next week, too. Uh, with that said, guys, if you guys want to say bye, and I'll try to find the button. Bye, everyone. Damn internet. Damn internet. <laughs> Where's the damn button? <laughs> <laughs>